Our world is full of mysteries that have been waiting to be rediscovered and understood for thousands of years. While archaeologists have already solved many mysteries of the past, other discoveries only raise more questions. Together with you, we would like to take a look at some breathtaking finds from Egypt, which once again show us how much more there is still to be found out about life at that time. Are you as enthusiastic about the fascinating world of the past as we are? Then give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, stick around until the end to hear about one of the most baffling discoveries in recent years. While Cleopatra is best known in retrospect for her stunning beauty, the truth is that the last pharaoh embodies one of history's most enigmatic characters. To this day, spirits are still divided as to how the lover of Julius Caesar and Mark Antony really died. Was the broken ruler, who was a prisoner in her last days, put to death at the behest of the first Roman Emperor Augustus? Or did she manage to outsmart her tormentors and commit suicide as a last trump card? No less mysterious is the question of Cleopatra's final resting place. According to historical records, she was buried together with Marcus Antonius in her mausoleum. However, there's no trace of the grave to this day. Some researchers suggest that the two mummies recently recovered from the ancient port of Taposiris Magna may be related to Cleopatra's riddle. Accordingly, an in-depth analysis showed that the deceased actually lived at the time of the famous pharaoh. In addition, x-rays confirmed that the dead were a man and a woman. Unfortunately, however, the bodies are in extremely poor condition. Over time, rainwater had seeped into their graves. The type of burial leaves no doubt that the two must have been high-ranking members of society. The researchers also found 200 coins with Cleopatra's name in the tomb. However, the discovery of the mummies was far from the only amazing find that the experts have recently been able to record in Taposiris Magna. Located beneath a temple in the ancient ruined city, researchers stumbled upon a massive, spectacular tunnel that they dubbed a geometric marvel. While the passage is 13 meters below the surface, it extends to a height of 2 and a length of an incredible 1,300 meters. Astonishingly, the hidden passage has great similarities with the approximately 1,000 meter long tunnel of Eupolinos. This was built on the island of Samos in the 6th century BC and functioned as a water pipe. Unrivaled in design and construction, the tunnel, named after its architect, Eupolinos of Megara, was not only the longest but also the most advanced of its time. Not much is known about its original purpose other than the fact that the Taposiris Magna Tunnel is clearly reminiscent of its counterpart on Samos. However, according to Kathleen Martinez of the University of Santo Domingo, when she and her team discovered the passage, the tunnel could be closely linked to the lost Cleopatra tomb and possibly even lead straight to the Empress's final resting place. However, since parts of the passage are underwater, further exploration proves to be extremely complicated. However, there is increasing evidence that the temple under which the tunnel runs was dedicated to the god Osiris and his wife Isis. And indeed, Cleopatra and Mark Antony were considered incarnations of those same deities during their lifetime. The fact that coins with the name and likeness of Cleopatra and figures of Isis were found in the excavation site also seem to indicate that the archaeologists have discovered a hot lead. At this point, however, it is still too early to say whether the tunnel actually leads to Cleopatra's lost tomb. Another important step will be the exploration of the nearby Mediterranean Sea. Between AD 320 and 1303, a series of violent earthquakes struck the coast, causing parts of the temple to collapse into the sea. Discovering an ancient tomb is always like finding an exciting time capsule. Unfortunately, experts are not always lucky enough to be the first to set foot in these ancient sites after thousands of years. Fortunately, while many sites have already fallen victim to grave robbers, things turned out differently at the Egyptian excavation site Tuna el Gebel, 
laid out in the Roman Empire, the last resting place has not been entered since ancient times. In detail, in addition to eight mummies, four adults and four children, the tomb contained elaborate paintings, some of which showed the gods Osiris and Anubis. The archaeologists were particularly amazed by the fact that the god Thoth was depicted naked, something even the most experienced Egyptologists had never seen before. The investigation of the tomb should now help to learn more about everyday life in ancient Egypt during the Roman Empire. Hardly any other buildings are so associated with the era of the ancient Egyptians as the colossal pyramids of Giza. Not far from the world-famous plateau is another, no less important site of the inhabitants of the pharaohs, the necropolis of Saqqara. The City of the Dead was probably built almost 5,000 years ago, and sometime later, the peculiar Pyramid of Teti was also to be built here. A renewed exploration of the site should now unearth something breathtaking, more than 300 coffins and mummies, as well as numerous statues, dating back to a period of about 1550 to 1070 BC. Not far from the Teti tomb, a research team led by Zahi Hawass recently discovered another pyramid from the same era. In detail, this is the tomb of a queen whose existence was previously completely unknown to us. An obelisk inscription showed that we were dealing with a certain Neith. But although this is not mentioned in any known sources, experts are convinced that this was a wife of Pharaoh Teti. The inscription identified Neith as a daughter of the god Geb a title reserved only for women of royal descent. Even if the other backgrounds of the queen are still in the shadows, one thing is already certain. The archaeologists have added another exciting piece of the puzzle to the historical picture. When a discovery is described by researchers as the most important find since Tutankhamun's tomb, it's clear the archaeological caliber we're dealing with. But first things first, about 3,400 years ago, the pharaoh Akhenaten gave up his original name, his faith, and his capital in Thebes. The controversial king then had the city of Akhet-Aten built, where he ruled together with his wife Nefertiti and worshipped the sun god Aten. However, the young pharaoh Tutankhamun later renounced his father's inheritance. Scientists are still discussing what prompted Akhenaten to turn his back on Thebes. The answer to this central question may lie dormant in the stunning discovery recorded in September of 2020. In detail, the researchers came across the legendary Golden City of Aten, which was built during the reign of Pharaoh Amenhotep III, Akhenaten's father, came into being. That era, between 1386 and 1353 BC, embodied a period of plenty, power, and wealth. And indeed, after all this time, the magnificent site is still in remarkably good condition. In this respect, the researchers do not even shy away from comparisons with the degree of preservation of Pompeii. Even though the excavation work is still in full swing, the experts have already been able to track down some remarkable details and artifacts here. As the largest administrative and economic center of the time, Aton was divided into several neighborhoods bounded by zigzagging walls. So far, archaeologists have unearthed a bakery district bursting with everyday objects here and also found three different palaces. The northern districts and the cemetery could already be located. The year is 1826 when the University of Warsaw receives a macabre gift, an ancient mummy, commonly known as the Mystery Lady. The following shows where this nickname came from. On the one hand, the mummification of women in ancient Egypt was quite unusual, and on the other hand, their sarcophagus was adorned with inscriptions that said that a man was lying inside. The fact that the deceased was also carrying a child at the time of her death was revealed in a computer tomography from 2018, which of course also made the question of the mummy's gender obsolete. Recently, however, the work of the scientists should uncover another exciting detail. The mystery lady very likely died of cancer. For example, the researchers noticed noticeable changes in the bones of the face and skull in CT scans. There was also evidence of a small tumor behind the left eye socket. 
this finding confirms once again that cancer is by no means a disease of our modern times. In fact, the disease has been found on other human bones from thousands of years ago. However, it can be assumed that cancer cases are much more frequent today than in the distant past as a result of changed lifestyles and environmental influences. The true ambition of this building project becomes clear to us when we take a look at the length of the sides of the Baca Pyramid. It is 200 meters. Since the mighty Cheops Pyramid also had an original base length of 230 meters, it is assumed that its unfinished counterpart would have reached comparable heights if it had ever been completed. In general, however, almost nothing is known about the background of the Baca Pyramid. It seems as if the project was stopped immediately after the foundation was worked out. The substructure of the tomb houses a T-shaped shaft. If you want to reach it, you have to climb a 100-meter-long, steep stairway. However, this stepped path is interrupted halfway by a large ledge. Why this is so is still unknown. A found object indicates that the so-called blocking stones were once intended to be placed here. The actual burial shaft is 27 meters long, 11.7 meters wide, and more than 20 meters deep. Although the inner walls of this passage were painstakingly polished, the researchers could not find a ceiling or wall paneling there. All that was completed on the covering of the floor. This is presented in the form of huge blocks of granite, the tops of which have also been polished. In detail, these massive components are 4.5 meters long and weigh around 9 tons. We have a natural helper to thank for the fact that we know today that the planned height of the burial chamber was a good 3 meters. After heavy rains, the falling masses of water were backed up to the same height mark since the walls had been smoothed and polished by then. The overlying water, in turn, seeped directly into the unhewn subsoil. In addition to the question about the sudden halt to construction, another question has remained unanswered to this day. Who was the Baca Pyramid supposed to be built in honor of? What mighty ruler was never laid to rest here? A look at the mysterious sarcophagus may help to get us closer to the answer to this central question. Near the west end of the burial chamber, the experts came across a mysterious coffin. In detail, this sarcophagus had an oval shape and was incorporated directly into the floor. However, with a length of 3.15 meters and a width of 2.2 meters, the object was much too bulky to fit through the access route. As a result, it is reasonable to conclude that the sarcophagus was lowered down the shaft while the foundation was being laid. Immediately next to this huge coffin, its also oval-shaped lid could be found, which finished perfectly with the sarcophagus. According to Alessandro Barsanti, the tomb even contained a few artifacts that indicated burial. The inexplicable thing is that, not only is there no trace of the objects in question these days, in fact, they should never be examined in detail. However, the Italian researcher stated that he had come across a small slate bearing the name of Rajdef. In fact, there are very few reliable sources about the life of this pharaoh. What is certain is that Rajdef was in power between the years of 2580 and 2570 BC and was a son of Pharaoh Cheops. His father's mighty tomb was also completed during Rajdef's reign. Why the tablet that was discovered bore the name of this pharaoh of all things is uncertain. Rajdef actually built his own pyramid in Abu Roash. In truth, the scientific minds are still arguing about who should really be buried here. But what do the experts have to say about this? As the third pharaoh of the 21st dynasty, Sassens I ruled between the years of 1040 and 994 BC. During his reign, the king built magnificent temples dedicated to the gods Mut, Amun, and Khans. In 1940, the French archaeologist Pierre Monte managed to rediscover the tomb of the powerful ruler in Tanis. In addition to the king, his wife, a prince, and an important priest were laid to rest in it. In detail, after his death, Sassens I 
was not placed in just one, but in three sarcophagi. The first coffin was made of rose granite and originally belonged to Pharaoh Merenptah. Beneath it slumbered a black granite sarcophagus, also reused, that encased the object that eventually gave Sassens the first his unofficial nickname, a coffin of pure silver adorned with precious gold ornaments. While the sarcophagi and the precious grave goods are still in amazing condition after all this time, the king mummy was not so lucky. It had already completely disintegrated by the time the tomb was opened. Which discovery from ancient Egypt fascinated you the most? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on our video in the comments below. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on some of the most exciting archaeological discoveries of all time. And with that, thanks for watching. Have a good one, and see you next time.